George Lucas, however, indicated in The Making of Star Wars, the definitive story behind the original film, The Making of Return of the Jedi, The Revenge of the Sith Commentary. Lucas himself was quoted in an interview conducted in 2005 on Skywalker Ranch that it was really about the Vietnam War, and that was the period where Nixon was trying to run for a term, which got me to thinking historically about how do democracies get turned into dictatorships. Because the democracies aren't overthrown, they're given away. He further opined in the interview that, no matter who you look at in history, the story is always the same. That's what's eerie. It was a little eerie that things have developed the way they have, he also had envisioned the empire as being based on Vietnam War era America, and by extension, the Rebel Alliance being based on the Viet Cong, as early as when he penned the storyline back in 1973, in part due to Star Wars itself being a continuation of a thematic trilogy decrying American involvement in Vietnam, claiming that his intended story draft when pitching it that the story was about, a technological empire going after, small band of freedom fighters, which had stemmed from his role in the development of the film Apocalypse Now earlier. In an interview for Time magazine regarding the then-upcoming Star Wars, Episode 2 Attack of the Clones regarding the connection of the Empire and the Republic, Lucas also implied that, besides Nixon, another influence on the Empire had been the Kennedy family. <laughs> 